Hello Floss Tube, it's Kate the Queen of Starts and it's Wednesday, March 15th and this is take three. <laughs> this should be the shortest video this week and I'm having the hardest time getting it started. Anyway, um, I did my Happy Mail video a couple days ago and now I'm here to do my whips video. So these are all my whips from the last couple months from various things. They're in no particular order, but I'll try to remember why I was working on them for whatever reason, whatever sell. So I hope you're having a great stitchy day, stitchy week. Hope you're not suffering too badly from uh, daylight savings time. I am. And I um, hope everybody who is snowed in is warm and cozy and getting lots of stitching done. No snow here, but it's been chilly. You know, light coat, long sleeves. Um... But not cold, really. Anyway. Whips, 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 whips. Alright, this... Okay. This was my 10 a day project. And it kind of got abandoned because... I, I love the idea of doing 10 stitches a day. And I'm loving seeing everybody else's progress. But I got to the point where I hated the project. Because I was working on it every day. And that's usually what happens um, when I work on something every day it, even 10 stitches so i will pick this back up as a regular whip so but this is what i'm working on this is uh cross country stitching magazine hang on ah that's the cover and this is february 2010 Love the snowman. Um, and these are some little Bible quilt blocks. So this block here is the one I'm working on right now, but I'm going to do several of them in a row for a bookmark. That's how I'm doing it. I did make some decent progress. And there's a chance I might actually get caught up, but probably not. Anyway, so there's, I have the all of the outer done on that square and this is on 18 count oatmeal ada or no not all of the outside done i just started the dark green i have to finish the dark green and then i'll have the whole outside edge done but this is 18 count oatmeal ada and my needle minder says stitching rules any questions asked while i am counting stitches will be answered with louder counting can't really see that but that's from true north needle minders Um, try to organize these as I go because my OCD says I have to. Uh, this is, I pulled this out for History and Stitches in Stitch Mania. I got a little bit worked on this um, on the trip to Ohio. I wanted to work more on it, but that hasn't happened. But this is Little House Needleworks, the bookshelf. And... It is on 28 Count Jobelin in Beach Walk from Under the Sea Fabrics. And <clears throat> here we are. <clears throat> and there's no needle minder on it because I stole the needle minder. I was on the road and I started. Oh, I started Needlework ABCs from Little House. And um, I didn't have a needle minder for that one because. We were gone an extra day, so I hadn't planned for that. So I stole the needle minder off this one and put it on that one. So anyway, I haven't put a new one back on. But here we are. I, I guess I, I did a little bit. Um, the branch there in the middle, I finished that. I had one, like two little sections still to do. And I did two names, Bronte and Wilder. One piece. Get back in there. All right. What is this? Oh, this is for um, Stitch Mania's Winter Wonderland. I think it's called. Which ends next week, the 19th. And 
I was hoping I haven't worked on this as much as I wanted to. Um, because I was hoping for a finish on the one block I was focusing on, but that's okay. Anyway, so this is Six Fat Men from Lizzie Kate, and I'm doing this on 14 count Smoke Tone Ada. I'm doing all six on this one. So, I mean, I guess I did. I mean, I did all right. I finished the border on that square, that long one at the bottom, which is... No day. So I finished the border. And I did finish, no, I did some more of the green border there and then I started the blue border. That was one of my starts. So I'm making progress. Oh. And my needle minder is my little fat snowman from Brenda's Minders and More. Got two more of those, I think, to start. Oh, I could have started that today. Show that one in a minute. All right. This was for the um, monthly magazine uh, pattern sale. It's a different group. Uh, put together by Heather, so you can either start or work on something from a magazine. So I'm kind of doing both. But from the 2015, um, I'm sorry, I'm not awake. <laughs> can you tell? 2015 Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. This is going to be fun trying to show this without showing. There, that works. So this is Boo. From, I think it's from Needle Bling. Yeah, Needle Bling Designs. So I've worked on a couple of them. This was the one I made the most progress on. Um, this is a 14 count Ada from Moe's Sale. So when I started this, all I had was the part of the curly Q of the O. So I finished the O, started the border, and did one little bat. So I've made a lot of progress on that one. And my... Needle minder on this one is uh, Zero from, where did I get him? Gina's Unique Boutique. Gina's Unique Needle Minders, I think, is what it is now. But that's where I got him, and he's from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I also worked on the B. I haven't worked on the other O yet, but I've almost finished the B. I had probably the second half of this done down here, so finished all of this up here. And I have a little striped pumpkin from Brenda's Minders and More. So these are fun. These are fun to stitch. Only a couple colors, so. Work with me. Stay in order. What is this? Okay, this is the Rainbow Sal from Connie G. And this is on, this is a free sal. She's very sweet. She offered it for free. It's on her website, which I have no idea what it is off the top of my head. But she has a Facebook group as well. And so this is on 18 Count Oatmeal Ada. And that's what I have. I finished the uh, circle for January, started the circle for February, and I did this little corner here. So anyway, so I've made progress on the border, and I'm doing the border in Alex's inspiration from Carrie's creation. Bought for obvious reasons. And my needle minder is a swirly Mickey Mouse head from True North Needle Minders. I did get the beads um for this so i'm excited to start working on the beads so that's january and february it doesn't call for beads 
but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do each of the months in the circles in the in beads that are similar to the birthstone of the month. It's kind of my goal. Right, this was for um, Puffle Stitch. The cross stitch, it's fun. Uh, stitch What's Challenge. Blah, chest. Yeah, okay. Say that three times fast. Puffle Stitch House Stitch What's Challenge in Cross Stitch, it's fun. Which I'm so sad it's coming to an end. It's been fun. Um, I think. This week might be our last challenge. I gotta stitch something green. But we had to stitch. I don't think I've done anything Teresa Winslow. Uh, not Teresa Winslow. Uh, Joan Elliott. I need to look at myself. I'm so not. Anyway. There we go. Pretty little London. We had to do 500 stitches on a Satsuma Street chart. So I picked London. <laughs> So this is 14 count antique white Ada. And so I've done a lot. I've done all of this blue here. I've done I started working on the eye. This building here. Done all the little bits and bobbles there. And my needle minder is the double decker red bus um, from Nifty Needle Nannies. This was for um, Ultimate Cross Stitch, one of their challenges. I pull this one out when I need just a big chunk of stitches in a small short of time because I can stitch this pretty fast. So this is the Mini Owl Family Portrait that I've been working on forever. One of these days I'm actually going to sit down and finish page one because all I have is the little corner to do. On the bright side, I have most of page two done because I have almost all the blue done so anyway there we are this is 18 count oatmeal Ada and I've added more blue so but see where that little green owl is that's the bottom of page one so you can tell I've got a lot most of page two done it's all blues and then I see actually even start at the start of page three and so there's the edge right here so lots of blue done. And I have a little bitty blingy owl needle minder from Nessa's Needle Minders, which I believe is closed. Very sad. She's so sweet. Escaping green floss. There. That one goes there. Hold on. There's a method to my madness here. Hmm. Maybe that's that one. Okay. This was my paid focus piece for something. Oh, is it? no, not that one. Okay. Anyway, I think I just pulled her out because I wanted to work on her, and I worked on her for quite a bit. So this is Faces of Fairy One Three Five. From Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I love her. She's so pretty. Um, I think I ended up putting like 800 stitches in her before I put her away. And she is on 25 count white. Um, I think it's Lugana. Anyway, one over one full crosses. A little tight on the edges, but I'm going to add fabric. Okay, I'm going to pay someone to add fabric because I can't sew. But 
I don't know, just a big gray and green blob. But I only had this little section right here done. So all of that's done. So pretty teeny tiny stitches. But she's fun to stitch. My needle minder is Olaf from Minding My Minders. Also closed. Yeah, she has lots of, before we get to the blues, there are a lot of grays. I'm out of room. Mm. Y'all will remember this. This is my Rejoice from the Fall 2016 issue of Cross Stitch and Needlework. Still plugging away. Still my goal to have this finished by Christmas. So this is 28 count antique white Monaco and there's the whole thing so I let's see what did I do I finished all of the blues I think I finished all of the blues yeah light and dark I finished all of the reds all of the light red started doing some of the dark red so just filling in the colored blocks right now lots of color and my needle minder says Remember the reason for the season. And that's from Nifty... No. Minding My Minders. Get back in the bag. I remember I pulled this one out. This was just my daily... Most of my sal pieces, um, I use those as my daily um, rotation pieces. I try to pull out something I can use in a sal somewhere. So, but I pulled this out, one out just because it's fun. Pulled out my Monopoly board. Worked on it a bit. And this is nice because this is um, a lot of mindless stitching. A little bit of counting just right now, but... Uh, Mostly just mindless stitching for the border. And this is a ginormous piece of 28 count Monaco that I dyed myself. So, it's huge. Alright, there we go. And that's where I am. My needle minder, which is upside down. Is from Nifty Needle Nannies. Treasure box, you know. Monopoly. So what I did was I did all of the black here for this property. And then I counted down and did some more blue here for the corner. This is the free parking space. And I forget what state that is, but. So that's fun. All right, for Stitch Mania's Christmas all year, I had wrong bag. I had worked on um, in February. I worked on um, two French hens. No, yes, no, three French hens. Two calling birds. Two calling birds. I know the song from Satsuma Street because I'm going to work on a different. Um, I have the Satsuma Street 12 Days of Christmas, and I'm going to work on a different one each month for the year. So January was partridge in a pear tree. Pear tree, not a peach tree. Um, February was two calling birds, which I think is the, the actual term is two collie birds. But that's all right. So this is number two, and I did the border. I did all this green. Um... I did all this. I finished the tail. I think I did most of this dark. All of the, yeah, all of this dark yellow. I had the cream and the light yellow. So I did all of the dark yellow. There, the gold. So 
did quite a bit on that one. And these are all on 14 count white Ada. And I have a fuzzy, yes he is fuzzy, little fuzzy Santa teddy bear from Brenda's Minders and more. And then March, that pile is going to fall if I add anything more to it. March is three French hens. Now four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. Two is turtle doves, isn't it? Yes, two turtle doves. April is four calling birds. Two calling, yeah. I really do know the song. Anyway, so March, I'm working on three French hens. Here it is. So all of the red so far is what I've done. This little gold was here. So that's all the red so far. And I have a wooden Eiffel Tower needle minder from Minding My Minders. No, I can't have more coffee. I already had my cup for the day. <sighs> All right. Now this last one. Actually, I think I've got one more in here that was... Yeah, that got put in there just because. All right. Who is this? Hands on design. You're in chalk. This is the November one. I remember this was just a random pulled it out to work on it thing. So I'm doing these on 14 count black Ada. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, right. Okay. So, and I'm using the recommended, uh, the called for gentle arch threads because it only has two colors in each. Somebody's missing me. My nose is itching. Um, it only calls for two colors in each chart. So I'm using the gentle arts for the colors and then I'll just use, I'm just using B5200 for the white. So, um... I did quite a bit of the ginger snap. I did a couple more of the acorn caps, finished this line, did a word here, and started that line there. And my needle minder is a worried looking turkey from Brenda's Minders and More. All right, so um, ultimate cross stitch for Valentine's Day. They had a really neat challenge. found my what is this called <laughs> tripod I found my little stand for my phone for my videos well I'll have to remember that because I'm using a box right now anyway ultimate cross stitch for February for Valentine's Day they had a really cool challenge where you had to do I think it started out with 5,000 stitches in like two weeks but you could deduct um so many stitches if uh, if your piece contained chocolate or hearts or flowers or lips, um, pink, red, white. There were a, a ton of deductions. Now, you could only deduct once. So I ended up picking like six projects and listed them all. So I think I knocked it down to 2,500 with my posting of my deductions but then each white stitch counted as three each pink stitch count, pink and red counted as two each no white counted as two each stitch counted as two and then pink and red counted as three it was fun it was fun kind of a little tricky to keep track of but um i had a really i had really fun with it and i earned my badge and it was a lot of fun so these are all my pieces i picked for that challenge. I worked on each one, um, one each day. So I had fun with it. This is another hands-on design. This is the February block. So I stitched the white in here. Oh, the cats are fighting. Yay. So this is 14 count black Ada. So I did that whole white line there, white side of the border. And I have a little heart minion needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. So that I that got deducted because it had pink and white and a heart in it. 
This one has hearts and, oh, chocolate candy. Candy was another deduction. This is Chocolate Mania from uh, Cross Quick Magazine. Uh, August, September 1989 is the issue. So I did the, I worked on the hearts on the edges. In fact, I think I did all the hearts. Yep. I did all the hearts. So this is 14 count blue fiddler Ada. And I have a blingy blue Hershey Kiss needle binder from Cassie's needle binders. So that got deductions for hearts and candy. This one got deduction because it had a heart in it, has flowers in it. This is Lizzie Kate's. Nope. This is Lizzie Kate's uh, one of the flippets. This is February. So. I had this little, what did I have? Yeah, I had this little pink strip here. So I did the red and I did did the outline. So this is 14 count uh, antique white Ada. I think it's 14 count. Anyway, it's this little scrap. And I have a little heart key locket needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. This one got deductions for all kinds of things because it was the February calendar from, I believe it's Polly. Is it Polly or Paula? I always get the name wrong. It says Polly. Okay, it says Polly and Paula, so there's a mistake here and I've forgotten the name. It's either Polly or Paula. Um, but this is the February calendar. This is the, uh, this is a, what is this? 2000, I don't remember. This is 2001. It's a 2001 cross-stitch calendar. So, really cool. I have, um, January through March and July started. Don't ask. I'll be starting the rest. I just got some fabric for that. Anyway, I worked on the February block. I had so much fun with it. I really did. And it was fun finding pieces um, that I only stitched pink or white or red on. So that was kind of fun. And this is on 18 count antique white. Ada. There we are. So I had part of, I had the um, handle of the basket and the ribbon done. So yeah, all the pink there. And then I started on the white, one of the birds. So I did some flowers and a bird on that. And I have a love emoji minder from Brenda's Minders and More. So these are fun to stitch. And then I found one to stitch that had lips. This is my other face of the fairy that I have started. I have two, yeah, I have two started. I, I own several of them because they're gorgeous. But this is number 22. Isn't she pretty? Love that red hair. And so I did some red on this. I did quite a bit of red on this um, while we were camping. And it's kind of a mess because I'm still in the middle of gridding and my threads are kind of a mess. But, you know, you'll get the point. So this is 18 count. Oatmeal Ada. You can see I'm still gritting. I did a lot of gritting. Kind of made a deal with myself. Every hundred stitches I did, I had to finish a grid line. So, working on that. So, yeah, I added quite a bit over here and started going down here. So, working on her hair. There's just lots of reds. Lots of shades. So, this is my part. I'm still parking on this one, so that's fun. I don't park on every one, but... And right now I have three needle minders on here. I just got another one to add. So I'm using all of my Outlander needle minders on this because she looks like Brianna. So I have some like it's Scott, my 
uh, Jamie Needleminder from True North Needleminders. And there's, yeah, you can't see it. There's another Jamie Needleminder. Nope, can't see it. Kind of, sort of, there he is, leaning against the rocks. And that's from Minding My Minders. And this one down here, down here, Keep Calm, Sassanac, and Dinafash. And that's from True North Needleminders. So yeah, I need to add my um, Real Men Wear Kilts minder. And then this one, this was actually a start, but I'm going to show it as a whip because I've made a lot of progress on it. This is my, I call it my therapy piece. I bought this on our trip to Ohio. I wanted to stitch something for, in memory of my brother. When I was um, making a picture collage for the funeral, I came across, I, I really hadn't gone through my mom's pictures before, but I came across just so many pictures of the two of us, me and my brother from when we were babies. I mean, he was a little older. He was four years older than me, but um, all the way up to adults, just the two of us. There just seemed tons of pictures of the two of us. So I wanted to do something that I could uh, stitch and put in the center and then put pictures around it. And I found this. I started it Wednesday of last week, so I've been working on it for a week. I didn't work on it yesterday because yesterday was a rough day. Anyway, um, so this has been my sole focus piece, and it will be my sole focus piece until I finish. So I've been doing my start for the day, and then I, any other stitching has been done on this. I don't have a picture. Not sure what I did with the picture. It's not in the bag. <sighs> anyway. It's from Etsy. It's the, the shop is called I Was a Stitch Girl, I think. But it's called Brother and Sister. Brother and Sister. Gosh, I wish I had the picture. Um, anyway, the chart is called Brother and Sister, and it says... Gosh, that's terrible. Anyway, I can't remember. But here it is. This is on 14 count. It, it looks white. It's not. It's actually forget-me-not blue. It's a very pale blue. You can see it in the right light. But there's the brother and the sister. Um, so I finished the girl. And I've almost finished the boy. I just have to do those last couple stitches on his shirt. And fill in the brown on his hair. And then there's a saying over here. Um, so yeah. I should finish that this week. And I have a... Minion, two minions, needle minders, that's my brother and me. Um, this came from True North Needle Minders. So, this is my big piece for the, this is my focus piece for the ultimate cross stitch, million stitch challenge. They're trying to get a million stitches by April 9th from all, all people. So every stitch counts, which I think is cool. Like every stitch counts all the time. So, that's all my whips. Um... Probably do my starts video tomorrow or what is today? Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday or Friday, I'll do my starts video. Um, show all my starts from the last however long. I have two things that didn't make it into my Happy Nail video. Um, they haven't come in in the last couple days. They just I, they didn't make the video. Uh, first off, it's this. I got this from Amazon. Uh, the best of just cross stitch. One of my, uh, you know, one of my searches, $2, it was like 2 bucks and $4 in shipping. Now I don't even think it was that much. It was $4 in shipping. I might have paid a buck for it. So, you know me and my Amazon finds. But the, it's really fun. I bought it for the uh, Fruit Bell pull from, by Teresa Wensler there. And that looks fun. Um, but there's... That's another Teresa Wensler. There's several of her designs in here. There's uh, Kathy Livingston. Um, there's some cool things in here. I love the Screech Owl. And there's some chickadees. It says, use what talents you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um... What else? There's the bell pull. I did not see that, but there's a better picture of it. Really long piece. I'm trying to decide 
what fabric I want to put that. Probably 28 count. I mean, they're only the only specialty stitches in there are the satin stitches and the leaves, but they're kind of where they fall. Um, be kind of a pain on Ada because there's so many of them. So I might put it on even weave. Um, and the blends, goodness, she's gonna kill me with the blends. Um, I like this one on friends. Make new friends, but keep the old. Those are silver. These are gold. New made friendships like new wine. Age will mellow and refine. like that one. So there's a lily maiden. There's the lily maiden from Teresa Wensler. So this is a fun book. I said I, there's probably maybe, I think that's Teresa Wensler as well. Yeah. I'm not brave enough to try all the lazy daisies, oriental poppies. Pretty though, but I'm not. I'm not that brave. Um, I think there's like three or four things in here that I want to stitch, so it was worth the money. So like I said I might have spent six dollars on it total. There's some samplers in here. There's. Oh, I like that. That was cute. Get a better picture of it. Love those little ants. He's got a little flag. It says, did someone say picnic? Like the Noah's Ark. And that's neat. That's I have that in a magazine. The boats and the hot air balloons. I've started the hot air balloons one. It's got some pretty pictures in it. It's got some great charts. So I got that. And then this is a big happy mail. This was my um, project bag from Amanda. And yay! I love it! It's Doctor Who! And she was so sweet. She went out and found all these different charts. Not charts. Patterns. Fabric patterns of Doctor Who. And she made it kind of quilty look. Look at all the different you have this square here, and then you have that one, and you have the faces. And she was so sweet. She even asked, she said, which doctor do I have to put in there? And I said, number nine, because he's my favorite. See, all of these are all different fabrics. Isn't that cool? And it's big. Travels well. This was perfect on the trip to Ohio. So it holds a lot. Um, I love the clear window because I can see what's in it. It's got the short handles for carrying and then it's also got a shoulder strap that is removable. Took this with me to the stitching session at Stitch Niche on Saturday, so that was great. You can see my stitching journal in there and my tool bag and there's a couple things in there. So that was awesome. So that's all I have for today and I'll be back with my starts tomorrow or Friday. Hopefully I'll be more awake. Anyway, have a great day. Get lots of stitching done. Stay warm. Bye.